I know what you're thinking. We're standing in front of a pile of rocks. But this is a sculpture by Michael Heiser called Adjacent Against a Pond. This is a 40-ton granite boulder on top of a concrete plinth. This piece was the first piece commissioned by the newly formed Seattle Arts Commission in 1976, and it was hugely controversial. People said, we paid money for this? Heiser is mostly known as an earthworks artist, an offshoot of minimalism. In the 1960s and 70s, artists tired of the slick New York City gallery scene went out into the desert of the American Southwest and created massive works using the earth instead of marble and bulldozers instead of chisels. This type of art is called non-objective art, meaning that it comes from the artist's imagination, not abstracted from something found in life. This piece is all about the relationship between man and nature. We have these 40-ton granite boulders sitting on top of man-made concrete plinths. And as the concrete plinths become more complex, representing the evolution of man, the natural boulders become further removed. So on this one, we have a three-sided concrete plinth, and the granite boulder is sitting right on top of it. That's the simplest one. This one is four-sided. It's becoming more complex. And the granite boulder, the natural boulder, is sliding off of it. The third one, the last one, is the most complex concrete plinth. It's five-sided, and it is the furthest removed from the natural boulder. I actually like it. It looks like the rock's working toward the goal almost, trying to make it up onto the ledge if you take it one piece at a time. Oh, interesting. So you read it from right to left. The rocks are climbing up. Well, I guess if I was on the other side, I'd be reading it left to right. So. Yeah. yeah, I guess it depends where you're viewing from. Uh, people's, maybe us interacting with uh, uh, nature or like the city in general. So I guess the city's up uh, like close to the woods or something, and then it's next to it, and then it's right on top of it. Fantastic. That's a great interpretation. So do you think that most of the public understands this the way you guys do? Do we understand it? Yeah. Yeah. I think you guys have a pretty good grasp on it. Um.